Right, well, as it's setting up, I guess someone let me know if we're live online. We are live online. Yep. You're live online. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us at uh, Talking Real Estate at Champions Real Estate Team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Service Ambassador Real Estate. Um, sorry, I got my daughter in the background. She's excited as well. So you are excited. So what well, we want to get on here and just talk about what's going on in the real estate market um, you know, in this last week. So um, just kind of a lot of activity, obviously, with the uh, state of Nebraska kind of doing their soft opening um, starting, you know, on Monday, just kind of bit small businesses and what that's meaning for us as the real estate market uh, moving forward. We have Jeff Peterson with the uh, Champions Real Estate team on with us, as well as Russ Williams with Arbor Bank. So we'll talk about, you know, talk about the market. Russell kind of gave us an update of what's going on in the, uh, the mortgage industry with rates and such. And then we'll kind of give you a tip just kind of with the weather getting nicer, just getting your house ready to sell or just general maintenance items. So I'm going to pull up here, share my screen with what I have as far as the, um, the market over the last week. So pull it up here, blow it up for you so you can see a little better. Um, so in the last week, since the last time we chatted last Wednesday, we have 491 new listings um, in the Omaha MLS and Lincoln, I guess, because now we are combined with the Lincoln um, folks as well. So we have 86 new contracts um, so as, as was written. So last week we had 130. So we had a little bit lower number of contracts being written this last week. Um, I think there's still that uncertainty, you know, of getting out and looking at houses and things of that such. Um, we did have 529 sold homes um, that basically closed. The prior week we had 349. So basically, you know, 30, 60 days ago, we had a lot of push. We had, you know, 200 more houses that basically had their closing dates set this last week. So um, as we move forward here, we're kind of getting to, you know, more normal um, parameters, I guess, from a health standpoint of it. But, you know, the market is still pretty strong. We're still seeing, obviously, we had uh, 374 new listings last week. We obviously have almost 500 this week. So you're seeing activity kind of increasing on the, you know, homes coming on the market. Um, and then obviously what will follow behind that is the buyers that are out there looking to get into the homes. Um, you know, some of the things I, you know, we had a sales meeting today at Berkshire. Um, we had our CEO of Berkshire, the, um, the franchise basically nationally. Um, and he was just kind of talking about that. I thought was kind of interesting that what are we seeing in the market and how is this changing us? Um, what we're seeing and what he kind of talked about is that people are, you know, being home for the last 45 days or so that we've been in, you know, the stay at home orders and things of like that is that people are being more mindful of, you know, their spaces, you know, their homes, the flexibilities of their homes. And so how is that interpret coming into the real estate market? Well, you know, for those people that are thinking of selling their homes, maybe they realize they need a little bit more office space at home, you know, because maybe some of these new are new normal as some people be, may be working from home more often. Um, and that having that flexibility of, oh gosh, you know, maybe I need to get a different, you know, arrangement in the house and stuff like that um, with kids and, and all that sort. So that's just one of those things of mindful, the flexibility of houses, the space you have, you know, that the funny meme that's going around um, with the real estate side of it is that the, you know, can you picture yourself being quarantined here? I'm sure you guys have probably seen that on social media, but that's true. You know, people are being more aware of their surroundings um, from a real estate standpoint of it. But um, yeah, we're seeing, you know, pretty active in the uh, real estate market here, as you can see the numbers. Um, I guess on that note, we'll take a, a touch base with, um, with Russ Williams um, from Arbor Bank and kind of get his perspective of what's happening out there in the, uh, in the mortgage industry. You know, so what do you see in Russ in this last, um, week of, of the mortgage. So you're on mute. So you need to unmute yourself. Before now we're seeing mortgage rates hold re relatively steady. They have moved up a, just a little bit in recent days. Uh, part of that is because we're seeing a reduction in the Fed purchasing mortgage bonds. Um, and we anticipate that will continue. Assuming that this uh, opening of the economy is successful, um, the likelihood is, at least the belief is among investors that uh, homeowners will continue to make their mortgage payments, fewer foreclosures, and that's an encouraging thing for bond traders, bond purchasers. And so we're hoping that uh, uh, the reduction in treasury, pardon me, I'm sorry, the Federal Reserve buying bonds will be replaced by normal market uh, 
uh, influences normal institutional investors and whatnot. But generally speaking, for top tier credit conventional financing, rates should be in the low threes. Um, 15 year money is a little bit less than that. Every Thursday, the uh, uh, Freddie Mac will release the primary mortgage market survey, which uh, summarizes rates for the pr previous week. Now, uh, probably the biggest thing that we're seeing uh, in the market right now is uh, 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 tightening by lenders in cases of refinances, especially, especially cash out refinances. And part of the reason for that is in the event that uh, uh, a cash out refinance uh, were to happen and uh, that homeowner uh, would happen to not make their first payment and request forbearance, that loan is not sellable to the secondary market, which means the bank has to keep that on their books. So as a result, we've seen some of the big lenders pull away from even offering cash out refinances. Others may follow suit uh, at the same point in time over concerns. Uh, we've seen uh, some of the big banks stop doing home equity lines of credit. And I, I think in Omaha uh, and Midwest in general, we're, we're isolated here and we don't have a lot of the volatility that some of the coastal and larger market cities do. So I still think we have a lot of, vol uh, a lot of volatility that, uh, that we're taking the blame for here, but we're not exposed to. So the market is still very good in Omaha. And as the economy opens back up, it's uh, expected to only get stronger. Great. Appreciate that. Yeah. So, I mean, as we see, you know, the purchasing powers that we have out there from a mortgage standpoint are pretty strong, uh, which is one of those that we're looking at um, across the board. So I think, you know, that, you know, with an election year, um, obviously coming up the most everyone knows about, um, that's something that, you know, typically neither side uh, wants to rock the boat when it comes to mortgages or anything like rates and stuff like that. So it's typically, and we typically in a election year, I've been in the real estate industry since 2008, been around it all my life as a fourth generation realtor. Um, you know, it tends to slow down, you know, from a real estate perspective in that September, October, November timeframe in any election year. Um, but what we're seeing now is with, you know, with a little bit of a, an uneasiness of what's going on with the coronavirus and the COVID-19 stuff, um, you know, is that even going to take effect? Because as we get, you know, as the economy starts ramping up, you know, is that election year really going to bother too much because of the pent up demand that we have of, you know, sellers that are waiting, you know, to put their house on the market to see what's going on. And the same thing with the buyers, just kind of waiting out there, you know, be a job uncertainty or what's going on, um, just safety and, you know, in the environment. But, you know, as, you know, we get back to a normal um, course of business, are we going to see that lull? That's something that, you know, will remain to be seen. But I think that the buyers and the sellers in the last couple of years that we've had, you know, have been pretty active into that October, November timeframe, even, even I think this year coming up on an election year, you know, I don't know what anybody else's takes are on that, but that's just something thinking outside the box that, you know, as it historically has been, you know, kind of, it slows down, you know, with school and then, you know, election year, people don't know what's going to happen. You know, ultimately, you know, life goes on after an election and things like that. So, I, you know, that's an opportunity, I think, for buyers to jump in, you know, if people are kind of waiting on the sidelines, especially if interest rates remain low, you know, and more houses come on the market, um, that those that are waiting, you know, from a seller standpoint, it's the same, same thing, less competition, you're gonna have more buyers out there competing for your home, maybe less homes on the market. Um, so that's just some perspective as, as we get closer to the election year that I think some people talk about um, going through that. So anybody else got any thoughts to add? Ross or Jeff or Rich on that side of it? So, all right. Um, the other thing I want to kind of talk about just as far as, as the weather's getting nice, um, we're starting to see a little bit more rainstorms and things like that is just a general maintenance of your house. So thinking about the exterior, uh, myself, you know, we just built the house back in October. Um, so obviously it's settling and stuff around the foundation. Um, we put mulch out, you know, in the, you know, when we first built. So I think that's something that myself I'm going to be doing um, here in the near future is basically pulling some of that mulch back before I put new mulch down and putting, you know, backfill around the foundation to keep that water, you know, flowing away. I think it's one inch per foot going away um, from the house. Um, but those are some things that as we go to sell houses, and even when I'm walking around with, with buyers around houses, it's just that general maintenance items that a lot of that water in the basement can be prevented. Um, it's just by that general slope away from the foundation. I think people, you know, now's a good time. Oh, you go to Menards, you go to Lowe's, you go to Home Depot, more holes, any of those type of places you buy the either buying the rock or you're buying the mulch and you just throw it back on top. Well, that's really not building that slope away from the foundation. And that's stuff that, you know, down the road throughout the summer, all of a sudden you might get in a little water in the basement, but that's one of those preventative maintenance items. that's you know, pretty simple um, to do, but that's stuff that, you know, as we, as we get, you know, from real estate perspective, if you're thinking of selling or even buying that, 
what we look for when we walk around houses is just that general maintenance um, stuff. So that's kind of just your general maintenance tip um, of the week from the exterior. Um, and ultimately while you're out there, you can add that curb appeal, um, you know, and set your house apart when you're um, looking at it to, to get it ready for the market and attracting those buyers. So, but um, with that, uh, we appreciate everyone signing in and, and listening to our uh, talking real estate uh, market update. So once again, to kind of recap, we're seeing the market obviously be pretty strong um, as we move forward, um, especially as the economy slowly starts to open up. We'll kind of see how that plays itself out. Um, you know, with our, our chart, I'll put our chart back up here. Oops, I'm gonna share it here back. Um, as we look here on our, our chart as well. So we're seeing, you know, like just kind of recap and we had about another oh, 140 more listings than we did last week. You know, contracts were down a little bit, but obviously as there's more listings, we're probably gonna see more contracts come in next week. Um, you know, we are probably about 85% from year to date or year, year to year from, our, or from last April, um, which, which we talked about in our sales meeting um, this morning um, that we are still, you know, thinking of, of, of where we are at, you know, 45 days ago, we had no clue where we would be. You know, we, we kind of were very optimistic um, and which we kind of, you know, kind of has come, you know, come to fruition that we are very active. Um, the real estate industry nationally, um, you know, you know, as you see like oil prices and the commodities and the stock market are, you know, kind of taking a big hit, you know, we're not necessarily seeing that in the real estate market. So, you know, you kind of have the, uh, the, the media and stuff like that, that out there you know, there's a black and a white area, but, you know, no one's describing the gray area. Um, and that's what we're here to do, you know, on Champions Real Estate Team, um, is just kind of give you that gray area, what's actually going on in the marketplace here in Omaha. Um, so that's something that when we take a look at, I think, you know, being your, your real estate resource can really help um, guide you and um, all things real estate as we move forward here. So, but um, let me stop sharing. So appreciate everyone signing in and um, you know, watch us later on. We'll put it on our YouTube page, um, championsrealestateteam.com. Um, you can search all the active listings. You can also create sold searches. So you can sign in on your own neighborhood. I mean, anytime a house sells, you can know exactly what that house sold for and you can kind of keep an eye on the market yourself as well, as well as market reports, um, just general market reports of what's going on as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, you can go on our Champions Real Estate Team Facebook page. We have all of our contact information there um, or feel free to reach out to us individually. Uh, if you have any mortgage questions, um, anything to that regards from the lending standpoint, you know, we know enough to be a dangerous, but um, Russ Williams really knows what, what's going on. Um, he also teaches the finance class at Results Coaching School of Real Estate. So those of you looking to get your real estate license, um, Russ is your go-to guy on the finance side of it. So, but um, anyways, appreciate everyone. Um, tuning in. And until next week, if you have any questions, let us know if you have any topics that you want us to talk about. Um, and then I believe we'll have another special guest hopefully next week for you um, that we're in the works of. So, but um, appreciate everyone and um, hey, stay safe and healthy and um, signing off. Bye-bye.